West Bloomfield Life Style Magazine is the only luxury community focused magazine in West Bloomfield area, making sure that they are involving the entire community and that the entire community is featured. So today to talk about that is Joe Gaga. He is the new publisher and owner of the magazine. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Joe. Hi, Maddie. Nice to see you again. Joe, so let's start off with talking about the West Bloomfield Lifestyle Magazine in general and what a West Bloomfield resident can get out of a subscription to the magazine. Well, yes, Maddie. I mean, with the new publication, it's been established for a couple of years now, and what we try to focus on in the publication is basically com connecting the local community with local businesses. And we also give them content on what's happening in the local community in West Bloomfield. So what they're getting with the publication is local businesses helping them grow, going to um, the most affluent homes in West Bloomfield, and also helping them connect with um, local content and what's going on in the local West Bloomfield community. So you get a, the advertisers, and what's happening in West Bloomfield. That's what we wanna focus local, local, local. That's what we're focusing on. Now, Joe, let's focus on your new role and how you got involved with the Lifestyle Magazine and assume the new position of owner and publisher of the magazine now. Yes, you know, I, I come from a background in advertising and marketing, working for big corporations, and I really wanted to, you know, get away from that, Maddie, and really focus on the local community of West Bloomfield helping local businesses. You know, obviously coming out of COVID, you know, a lot of local businesses did suffer. And when my previous role, you know, I did not, you know, it was more of a broader reach. And I saw this opportunity where I could focus and help the local community. I'm from West Bloomfield, born and raised in West Bloomfield. So it was a home run for me. And I just wanted to make sure that, you know, I focused on that for my local people. So that's what made me, you know, go into this publication. Joe, you mentioned that you were born and raised here in West Bloomfield. What does it mean for you to be able to cover West Bloomfield, all of those businesses here, especially amidst the pandemic? It means a lot. Basically, it means like I'm helping them, ha helping them hand in hand. You know, I am the owner. They're meeting with the owner, and 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 just you know, I mean, we went through a tough tough period, and we're still going through a tough period. So you know, you want to help these local people and local businesses grow, and 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 it means a lot to me. That's the main reason why I, well, uh, you know, attracted me to um, purchasing this publication. And with the publication too, um, for the West Bloomfield Lifestyle Magazine, throughout the ongoing pandemic, have you guys seen any problems with staffing, um, either writers or photographers with the publication? And how have you seen the pandemic kind of affect um, the workforce with you guys through the West Bloomfield Lifestyle Magazine? Well, to be honest, it hasn't really affected us. We're not a big company, not a big corporation. You know, the photographers that we have in-house and the local editorial people that we have, you know, they are locally, they are from the area, and um, they haven't affected us a great deal because, you know, the main thing is, is getting that, um, you know, reaching out to the right people. That's it. You mentioned, too, that all of your uh, staff members are local. Obviously, if they're going to be covering West Bloomfield, they need to understand the community and the businesses that we have here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about a couple of the staff members, those writers that you have on staff, and maybe give us a little glimpse into their new edition and what will be um, in the West Bloomfield Lifestyle Magazine for the February edition? Yeah, I mean, the staff that I have, again, um, in, uh, they've been all their lives in West Bloomfield. We got Amy and we got Joel Lee's the photographer as well. And um, basically they focus on the content that, that, you know, what is happening in West Bloomfield. They go and find out the local communities. They do networking. They, they actually interview businesses on what's happening in the local area. So um, the main thing is what we want to try and do with our publication is try to broaden the, the understanding and, and what people are doing in the community and, and the staff that I have at the moment being born and raised here as well, like me, you know, they know where to go and how to get that information. And Joe, can you give us a little bit of an insight into your day to day as the owner and new publisher for the West Bloomfield Lifestyle Magazine? What does your day to day look like and how do you connect with these businesses in order to get a full published magazine out to the public? Well, you know, day-to-day -day basically is 
you know, reaching out, being the new owner, introducing myself to the new businesses, stopping in, calling them over the phone. Um, that's my day to day. Uh, we have advertisers currently with us that are running and they've been running since the inception of the magazine and they've been very, very happy. And um, I use them as refer references as well to new advertisers to help grow within the community. So my day to day is really being out there, Maddie, introducing myself either face to face or over the phone and meeting with these clients personally. Joe, as we head into the new year, and with your new position, what are you looking forward to most, either personally or with the magazine as the new publisher and owner for the West Bloomfield Lifestyle magazine? Um, what are you looking forward to most for the year of 2022? Really just helping these businesses grow, expanding on the magazine. You know, there's some categories. See, I, I, it's, I'm kind of like the middleman, Maddie. So we, we deliver the magazine to businesses and homes, and we got to make them happy with the content that we have. And we got to make the advertisers happy that they're getting in front of the right people. So what I try and do is make sure that I have the right content in my magazine. So my focus for 2022 is some categories that we currently don't have in our magazine to make our, our readership more influent and more happy and as well you know help those advertisers grow with the categories that we don't have so so that's what i want to do in the advertising sense in the editorial and content sense again just focus on the local community focus on that readership and focus on that content and um, what's happening locally in your area joe as we wrap up how can one get a subscription to the lifestyle um, West Bloomfield Magazine, whether that's a physical copy or their online subscription there? They can just directly contact me and I can take care of it for you. Not a problem. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Joe. Thank you very much, Maddie. Have a good day.